previously on Sparks. Uh, this is Rex and Alethea. They've just been selected from our recent Hack to Hire recruitment drive. This is Claire, who will be showing you the ropes. Shall we put away our phones? So, how can we help? We're facing a cash crunch, and we'll need extra financing to keep the company afloat. Can I just go back to working with Ray and Hendra? We work so well together, you know? Your knowledge and your experience will mean the world to Rex and Alethea. Channel your inner mama bear. Your cubs need you. Right on cue. Wait a second, this is not my bathroom. Calm down, breathe. Yeah, so here's what happened. So how's it with the newbies, huh? Are they adjusting well? They're doing fine. Actually, I'm the one who has to adjust. Oh, tell us about them. What are they like? Alethea is this incredible kick-ass coder, and Rex is this larger-than-life character who's actually playing a music gig as we speak, and Alethea is there to watch him. He didn't invite you? He did. Um, I just didn't feel like going. No, you're going. I agree. You have no. to go. No, 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 no. I am not going. You've not gone out once apart from work since you moved into this new flat. You need to get a life. I do have a life. It's last than three! It's last than four! It's last than five! Hey, changed your mind? Nope, my best friend's kicked me out. I like them already. So, is he any good? Better than I expected. You want a drink? Yeah, I'll, I'll go get one myself. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know how to whistle? What? To get his attention, you will need to whistle. What do you want to drink? Uh, gin and tonic. Two gin and tonics. Do you do that all the time? What? Waiting around to help girls with their orders so you can strike up a conversation. How did you know? <laughs> I'm Dylan. Claire. I can't believe I'm turning 29. <laughs> it went by so fast and I feel like I didn't get to do all the things that I wanted to do. It's not too late. Okay, okay. If you could turn back the clock and start your 20s all over again, what would you do differently? Probably step out of my comfort zone more, fill my life with more experiences, and do crazier things. <laughs> you? Uh, well, apart from buy loads of Bitcoin, I would like to have spent more time with family. I feel absolutely robbed by this pandemic. I would like to get the past few years back and just live more, you know? No, it's not too late. Well, here's to living our life to the fullest from here on out, pandemic or not. Hmm. Here's to revenge living. To revenge living. <laughs> and that's how I got into this, um, predicament. Okay, good. Nothing happened. Okay, not good. No time to go home. But I can't go into work like this. So Claire has briefed me about the EcoGrow case and the possible financial solutions that you are exploring. Now, at DBS, we pride ourselves in being a different kind of bank that thinks and acts more like a like a tech company. So I have reached out to our colleagues in technology as well as global transaction services, and I think we might have an interesting option. Yep, just in time. Come in. Sorry, I'm late. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, guys, this is Dylan. Dylan, this is Rex, Alethea, and Claire. You look really familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? 
No, you don't remember him. You've never seen him before. Last night at the bar, the one Claire was chatting with the entire night also explains the weird jacket. Oh, yeah. Great. Just great. That was, um, well, good. So, uh, Dylan, why don't you uh, talk us through what happened? I mean, uh, your idea. Yes, uh, the idea. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the plan is to work with EcoGrow to develop a blockchain platform that will cut down on all their process inefficiencies and in effect solve their working capital constraints. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, so let's say Chester is EcoGrow. Rex is the farmer. Howdy. Alethea, the logistics company. And Claire is DBS, the bank. Well, I am the buyer to whom the goods go to. So, when Chester or EcoGrow wants to buy, let's say, wheat from Rex, the farmer, he gets invoiced. But Chester will need to verify that all that wheat has actually been transferred to the logistics company before funds can be transferred. I got the wheat. But the bank won't know any of this until EcoGrow tells them. They've got the wheat. Now, it's the same problem after logistics receives the wheat. EcoGrow can't pay logistics until the wheat has been received by the buyer. Thank you. So you see, at every step, Information needs to be relayed back and forth between all parties, which results in a mountain of paperwork. Now, with a blockchain platform, all the information from all parties are updated to a secure, decentralized database, which can be seen and verified by everyone involved in real time. And so the bank can process the payments without waiting for the information to be relayed. And the farmers and logistics get paid sooner the goods are automatically tracked and traced every step of the way. Putting an end to paperwork, getting rid of all the inefficiencies. Is it also possible to link the platform with our system? We can interface it with DBS's APIs. That should make the process even more seamless. And deploy that platform to customers in other industries as well. So, can it be done? I don't see why not, but it's a big ask. I'll need all the help. Yeah, we can help. We can help, right? Oh, of course we can. I'll rope in our tech partners as well. Good idea. Let's get to it. That was a really good presentation. Thank you. Um, could have prepared better. So, so about, about last, last night. night. <laughs> I had a really good time. Uh, me too. Uh, I'm sorry I took your jacket without telling you. I meant to give it back somehow. It's okay. You should have taken the blue one, though. It's much less bulky. <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh my god. Did I really just say that? I better get going. Yeah. <laughs> and with a blockchain platform, we'll be able to dramatically reduce all the inefficiencies. You done with the next section? Yep, you're getting it right. Now. So I managed to pull on our esteemed colleagues, Ria and Hendra, to give us a hand. Hi guys. Hello. Hey Ria. Hey Ria. Hi Hendra. Hi. So all the information will be updated and verified in real time. That's great. So, what's the status? Bulk of the coding is done. But we still need to review and test it. All right, well, let me know if you need me to pull in any more help from the technology guys, you know? All right, guys. Uh, we made good progress. Let's take a 30-minute break. Uh, so if I refuse to take a break, Am I resisting arrest? <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. And there it is. A blockchain baby is born! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming.
coming now. We hope you're having a wonderful night. I have a really special announcement to make. Uh, my colleagues over there, and yours truly, we just launched an industry-first blockchain platform to help our customer streamline their operations! Yes! <laughs> industry first! Tom <laughs> crowd, okay. Um, if I could just get everyone's help for this uh, next section, to sing a very special song to a special someone, I think you guys know how it goes. Me. Oh, no, you're, you're, good you're beyond yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's why. Come on, make a wish. Hey! hey. Happy birthday, Claire. Claire? My name is Waish and I play Alethea. Hi, my name is Andrew Marco and I play Rex. I had a great time partnering up with, with Waish <clears throat> to do the scenes. More life. I had a great time partnering with Waish doing all the scenes. He did. Now you can also find out how DBS partners with clients to leverage blockchain. In the latest Behind the Spark episode. You see that? That was, that was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. Thank <laughs> you.